Hello everyone, I'm showing you another work in progress MAME 2003 stream update. I mean, many of you know about Iron Games, Data East Games, uh, Title Games, and so on, but uh, not many of you know about the PGM Games, Polygon Master Games. I've showcased a few of them in the past, like Demon Front and such, but we're going to do a little bit of an update here. I'm going to show you exactly how a specific game ran on the previous update. Uh, we're going to go to... Uh, We'll start out with uh, Nice of Valor to start with here. We're going to load it on MAME 2003 stream. Current release, real quick. Right here. Current release. And I'm going to show you exactly how this game used to run. Okay, let's load it up. And here's how the game used to run and how it runs on the current update. Because there are many, many things. And I give personal thanks to Arcades 2003 and Grand 2258 for really, really being uh, tremendous uh, mates as far as helping update MAME 2003 stream. And they've done such great collaboration and such. And they've also worked on, of course, uh, MAME 2003 Plus. But uh, here we go, Polygon Master. And you do need to have uh, the BIOS, PGM Zip, in the same directory as your game. But you're going to notice one thing right now as I'm playing the game. Where are the sound effects and music? They do not exist. They're not in the game right now. I'm playing the game, and there's no sound whatsoever. So yes, we're playing this game on MAME 2003 stream, but we have no sound. So what are we going to do about this? We're going to try the game out for a moment here, see how it performs and such. But yes, no sound. Okay, let's get into the game real quick. Okay. And yes, this is so different playing with no sound here. Okay. I mean, the game's cool and everything, but it would be a lot cooler if we had heavy hidden sound effects and such. And music! And we're going to try another game real quick. Another uh, PGM game, because I have a whole directory of PGM games here. Uh, let's try loading uh, Kill and Blade, or Ketsui. The uh, shmup game. We'll try to load that with the same core. And what's going to happen? Let's see what happens. Guess what, guys and gals? It's not going to work. It's going to crash back to the retro menu because it's not supported. Uh, there are a few games like that that have no sound or otherwise not supported. But guess what? I'm going to load the exact same game again with the updated core, uh, which we got working uh, with the updated uh, main channel and stream here. We're going to load the exact same games right in a row. We're going to do Knights of Valor here. And we're going to load that with the uh, updated arcade uh, MAME 2003 stream work in progress score. And let's see if it runs any better than the no sound uh, with sound effects and no music. Uh, let's see what happens here. Come on. I'm hoping for the best here. It's going to be my, pretty much my first time truly testing this. And I'm hoping that thing worked out right. And we have sound effects and music mode activate. And let's see how the performance and speed ends up here. Uh, let's pick this character. So much better with the music and sound effects here, without a doubt. And a great two-player mode activate game as well. Let's do a two-player mode activate while we're at it. We're going to go into Hockey Binds for player one. And, uh, I meant player two, sorry. And make sure that's PlayStation Classic controller. And then we'll be able to do two-player mode activate. Okay, now we're going to have two-player mode activate. There we go. How awesome is this? Okay, we got this, guys and gals. Two-player mode activate! We got sound effects and music, and it's so awesome now. The performance is way, way good here. You gotta love all the PGM games, and uh, Demon Front is one of the absolute best. I mean, Arcade 2003 said it is feasible to get the game working on May 2003 stream, but it's gonna take quite a bit of effort and work, and hopefully it'll work out. And there are other games that I'd love to have on the, on this as well. I mean, there are some other great PGM games, but there are also other hardware games that I'd like to have as well, like IGS games. I'm talking like uh, Crystal of Kings is a great game I'd love to have on here. Go down. Two player mode activate for the win here, guys and gals. Look how awesome this is with sound and music. I'm going to try some other games that also have fixed up sound and actually play. Right in a row here. Oh yeah, let's see if we have any special moves we can do here. Oh yeah, we do. A damn cool game, Knights of Valor. And we're going to do a few more of these games right in a row. Uh, let's try going into uh, the other uh, games that I've ordered to see if they load one by one here. Uh, we got quite a few to go through. PGM. Uh, we got uh, Dodon Patchy 3, Black Label Edition. We'll try that and see if that actually loads. Because this should be coded in as well. And I'm really, really hoping it works because currently if you try to load it, it's just going to outright crash. So let's see how this runs on here. Please load, guys and gals. I want to see this game work. There we go. 
It is working. Okay, we got this. Black Label Edition. And I actually have quite a few of these uh, types of games that came as released on uh, my mobile phone. They even have a Japan-only Death Smiles game. We got two-player mode activate in this game, too, and look at this. Running great performance and speed wise, and we still have two player mode activate because we did not disable it yet. It is so sweet. We can use a little bit of a strategic element having the characters side by side, or we can move all the way left and have them pretty much in the same time frame. This is so great. It's one of those take a minute to learn Lights on the Master games where you can just get to the game by inserting quarter at the corner, or you can actually try to get the highest score for competitive nature. It is so awesome. And you can see there's not a hint of slowdown, it is run absolutely. Flawlessly right now, and this is a true bullet hell shooter at its best there. We use our little uh, power up here. I usually try to save the uh, uh, special weapons for the boss battles and such. Great, great music here. And the game is run absolutely astronomically amazing here. And yes, I've been catching up on some movies and TV shows uh, on Netflix and uh, the other streaming services and on demand. I watched uh, the latest Dave Bautista movie, the spy movie, and it actually was pretty entertaining for what it was. And I got a little bit bored and I attempted to watch the Trolls World Tour movie. It was a little bit too sappy for my taste, I mean. I, I saw the fact that Ozzy Osbourne wasn't in it, but uh, I really didn't want to make it to the point where he was in it. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm more into horror and violent movies. I mean, I'm looking forward to the next John Wick movie. And uh, I actually watched a classic comedy movie the other day, Down Periscope. That movie holds up so well over time. I mean, what movies have you guys and guys watched like back in the 1990s, 80s, 2000s that you uh, fondly remember? I mean, recommend them and see which of these movies actually hold up after time. Because some movies you might go back to watch and you'll find out that they don't hold up too well after time. But we're actually going to disable two-player mode activate right now. Uh, but yes, what movies have you watched uh, back then that still hold up well? over now, and what movies do not hold up well over time. Kind of suggest something to me, because I'm looking for another movie to watch. Okay, we're going to go to another game in the PGM uh, Polygon Masters here. And I'm going to show you what I mean by the PGM uh, BIOS that you're going to need in the directory here. You're going to see it right in my folder here. PGM Zip. You're going to need that in the folder with the games, or the games will not work at all. Uh, we're going to load up uh, Kill and Blade. Well, we'll do the Ketsui first, which is a great game, which is also on Nintendo DS, but there are two very, uh, very, very different games here. We're doing this one right now, Ketsui, a great shmup. And then we'll probably do Kill and Blade, the one-on-one uh, -on -one fighting game next. But this should load up. And I'm hoping each and every one of these games loads up today. Notice it actually said the game needed to be initialized to load. That's kind of like some of the other games I showed in the past. Okay. Awesome. Oh yeah, so nice having this game run out here. Another great two-player mode activate game, and it's a bullet hell shmup. And yes, if you play the DS version, you kind of do a series of boss battles, wherein if you play this game, it's more like doing like level up chronology and stuff. Right here, it's like that type of thing. These would be the type of main enemies you'd have in the DS version. But both are very, very fun games for what they are. And yes, bullet hell shmup here. Look how crazy this is. This is absolutely insane. So much hygiene's going on screen, but look at my score top left there. Let's see what my score can get to before my game's over here. Let's try this. There we go. There's a boss already. That little green meter there. Absolutely loving this game. Oh, jeez. Yeah, see what kind of high score you can get in this game. I mean, try this, uh game, uh, the Catch Dewey game, with the update and let me know what score you get. I'm at 26262 right now, and obviously my score is going to reset when my game's over. The idea is to get as high a score as you can before your game's over. I mean, even though you can keep inserting coins and beat the game, the idea is to get as high a score as you can. And like pinball tables, you have all kinds of roll sets here, and little elements where you can actually get higher score streaks and such. But awesome, awesome stuff here. I'm doing pretty decent here on score, but I'm sure that one of you guys and guys is probably going to decimate me score-wise once you play this and let me know what your score is. Jeez, this is just absolutely insane. Trying to avoid this whole uh, scaffold of bullets there. It's a whole cacophony of crazy insanity here. Oh no, I'm on the boss here. Can I take the boss out without dying? Let's see. Or is this a mid-boss? It's been a while. Taking on Air, <laughs> Air Wolf here. 
blue thunder and such. I kind of need to go back and watch the Airwolf TV series and the Blue Thunder movie with uh, Roy Schneider, who also happened to be in the Jaws movies. Love the Jaws movies as well. Remember the trend they had when they made every movie in 3D? Jaws 3D, Friday the 13th 3D, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street in 3D. I mean, they made every movie you can imagine in 3D here. I still have a decent score, but again, if I end up losing a life, my score is going to be lost. It's going to reset. So I have one life left. If I die, I'm pretty sure my uh, score is going to reset here. And then, uh, I don't have any more, uh, special power-ups here. I just have a cacophony of bullets to take on here. Oh, no! There we go. Let's continue and see if I lost my score. I got to about 56k there for score-wise. Okay, my score's over there. But we're gonna try another game there. I wasn't sure if I could continue or not. It's been a while since I played it. But I might have forgot to push the continue button. Uh, let's go into another PGM game here. Uh, what else do we have? We have, uh, this game right here, which is awesome. It's going to be a mouthful to pronounce. I'll let you see the title screen here. Okay, let's load up here. I'm going to end up butchering the, the pronunciation for this game. You'll see here. Okay, see how this runs here. <laughs> I don't even want to try to pronounce that. S P Galuda? ESP Galuda? I'll say ESP Galuda. I'm going to pronounce that. Beautiful, beautiful game indeed. One of my favorite games that I've played when I first discovered Cave. I mean, this and uh, so many other Cave games are amazing. I mean, Ikaruga, uh, Radiant Silver Gun, but look at all these other great Cave games. And I'd love to be able to run Death Smiles on the uh, Mini Classics, but unfortunately, they're not able to run. I mean, maybe we will be able to have them run it in Final Burn Alpha, potentially. Or should we say Final Burn Neo? I mean, it's a potential possibility, but don't expect miracles. Another great cave game for the win here. Let's try to do two play mode activated game uh, again real quick. Uh, hot key binds input uh, here for player one. Uh, you don't want to touch player one. You just want to do it for each player afterwards. So if you're playing like X Mine or Team and T, you do it for each controller down the line. We're doing just a uh, second controller here, the PlayStation Classic controller again, and resume. There we go. Two player mode activate, and I have them separated here, but I can actually get them in the same spot by moving all the way out there as close as I can, like this. A little bit of a more strategic formation there. Look how insane this is. And I love that kind of like uh, scale and effect where it looked like the creature was lower on the ground, like on the rooftop, and then he was all of a sudden up higher. And yes, it, it looks kind of like a cross between a, a monster and a, and a robot. It's so cool. Beautiful, beautiful game. I mean, I'm loving each and every one. Of them. We're going to call this ESP Galuda. That's how I'm going to pronounce it from now on. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it any other way. It's just not going to work for me. This game actually reminds me quite a bit of Sapphire on TurboGrafx uh, CD, which I believe is on the actual uh, TurboGrafx Mini as well, which I'm going to have to showcase too. But so far, so good. Game's running out beautifully. And we're going to try Killing Blade next. Try to get into a fighting game, because we not only have shmups, we have fighting games to boot as well. But running so beautifully. Love this game. I uh, was going to low content Star Trek 3 Deli. All these games are run beautifully again. Thanks, Arcades2003 and Grant2258 for really helping out with this. Uh, let's go to uh, Killing Blade right now. So that runs same core, work in progress. Again. Okay, we all know about our killer instincts, our Mortal Kombat's, our Tekken's, our Soul Calibur, and so on. But uh, today we're going to be playing Killing Blade and. Uh, I do not know this game as well as some other games, but I'm going to try to learn it, and I'm sure Broken Sprites can give me a few tips on these like he has on other games. Uh, we'll pick the female character, Ling. And, uh, typically when I play a game, I try to use move sets from other games that I've played in the past, such as Street Fighter, because invariably you almost always have the uh, Haruken move from Street Fighter in about every fighting game you can imagine. It's just the way it is. Okay, getting used to the controls there. I have a power meter in the bottom, which uh, I believe once that love was up, I could do special moves. I'm pretty sure of that. Try to get used to this control there. There we go. It actually says I can do a Hadouken move right at the bottom there. Oh yeah, we did a double Hadouken move, which uh, is in some of the later Street Fighter games. Especially the first games. Oh yeah, very, very cool. Loving the animation here and the playability. Oh, I got thrown. Usually when I play competitively in fighting games, I don't really throw characters. But uh, there's one game that is actually fun to throw characters in, which I'm going to have to play since I do the one more, one more game thing. 
Let's try that uh, double move again. Oh, that was cool. A shadow move. That was sweet. Let's try this. That was awesome. This reminds me of y y Yoshimitsu from uh, Tekken games and Soul Calibur. This is great. It feels like I'm playing Yoshimitsu here. This is great. I did not expect this character. So Yoshimitsu all the way. I'm not sure how to do that. That's going to be a tricky move to do. That's almost like a Zangief move. Remember how that was almost impossible to do unless you had any advantage? Oh, I see what it's trying to do. I'm not sure if I can do that move, though. I'm not going to be able to pull it off, guys and gals. I don't think I'm good enough to do that move. Okay, I switched back to my other character. Yeah, the Yoshimitsu character is going to take a little bit of practice to get used to. Let's try finishing this battle, though. Killing Blade is a sweet game! Let's do the uh, double hunter again, which I know I can do. Oh, I switched the characters again. I can remember what button I pushed to switch the character. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do that move here. Let's try to get uh, up, down. How am I going to do this? It's going to be hard to practice here, especially if I'm doing... There we go. I think I might have possibly just done it. Let's try this. There we go, I did it, yay! That took a little bit of practice to do, but it was just like a Zangief move. That definitely helped me out there. Like I said, dude, Zangief style moves from Street Fighter, you definitely needed an NES advantage or a joystick to pull him off. This, this shows some Mr. character is sweet, I love it. Switch back, a little bit of a tag team action there, this is great. Look at that fatality style move, that is great. Damn cool game, and I'm almost out of the time limit, and the character's gonna beat me here. But definitely was a fun experience playing this. Oh no! So close, look at that, it was just within a few uh, frames of winning there. That is so awesome, like, Killing Blade is definitely uh, surprising me here. Uh, let's try this one more time real quick. Okay, let's try another game real quick. Uh, I don't want to spend the entire video, but we're going to go to another game that uh, has nothing to do with PGM here, just because I thought of it. Uh, we're going to play it real quick, and we'll make this the final game in this uh, demonstration, maybe. Uh, we're going to go to it right now. It's called Mutant Fighter. It is a great, great game, and the arcade version is phenomenally awesome. Right here, great Data East game. And it has so many cool uh, mindset moves here. But again, just thinking of playing like the WWE games that I played in my last video in this and such. And they had a WWE uh, WrestleMania the other day. I mean, I just wanted to get in the wrestling motif here. One player first uh, CPU. We'll pick uh, the werewolf character. I have to tell you one thing. You know that thing where you have like uh, a song that you try to put in somebody's head? The music in this game is unforgettable. It's just such cool music here. Some of it reminds me of Revenge of Shinobi on the uh, Mega Drive. This music is so catchy. Feels like I'm watching like uh, Better Off Dead with John Cusack right now. That type of music when they're doing the skiing scene. Oh yeah! Great wrestling game. Monster wrestling for the win. Again, this is not PGM. This is just a wrestling game I decided I want to play randomly. Oh yeah! <laughs> an awesome game. Let's win. Oh no. This music is so catchy. This does remind me quite a bit of Shinobi uh, music too. Right there. That sounds like Revenge of Shinobi. For those of you who know the soundtrack. Right there. That is that music. Yeah. And let's see if we can actually do one of the power throws here. I beat that character a little bit too quick. But I'm going to try to wear him down and do a power throw on the next round. Which we got beats there. But yes, this music is absolutely incredible. And highly enjoying this game. I'd love to see you guys and gals try a two-player mode. Anyway, that is. Oh no. Let's do this uh, super throw here. Yes, you can actually charge up your meter by doing moves and do a super throw. Oh wow, that was great. I love how hyper uh, cartoony this could be at times. I actually do have a wrestling game that's cartoony on my PS3, which is awesome, just like this, with all of the original wrestlers. Even Andre Giant and Hulk Hogan are in it. I'm gonna have to showcase that in the video. 
Uh, Beast is kind of taking me out here. I need to catch up real quick here. He might do a super throw on me, which might work out well too. Because sometimes when you play a game like Mortal Kombat, you don't know how to quite do the fatalities, and the computer does them on you, it's still cool as hell. See them in action. I can do two player mode x and play against myself here if I really wanted to, though. Oh, wow, that was awesome. You can see this game gets quite challenging, even on the second opponent here. Whoa! <laughs> I would try a different character if I need to. Oh, we're gonna do a different character here. Oh, who do we want to pick? We'll pick, ah, uh, the Amazonist. See what we can do with her real quick. There we go. And I had a little bit of uh, assist there with the werewolf. That was awesome. We got this. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be so much easier with two-player mode at eight. We got this, guys and gals. Tag team for the win. Let's try a super throw here if we can do it. Yeah, every time he takes one of us down, the other one's going to come after him. That is awesome. There we go. We can do a super throw now. Oh, he did a super throw on me first. Oh, no. That's exactly what it would have been if I did it on him, though. Come on, help me out here. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that was a fight there. It felt like I was really fighting for that. So cool. Love this game. Fantastic game. They can do a super throw on me. I'm gonna do a super throw on him now. Oh, he did it. Let's do this. Let's do a super throw. We got this. You gotta hold up, I believe, to do a super throw. Oh, I ended up beating him. I wanna do that super throw. It might get it out. Keep the thing from taking me on. Oh no, I think I beat him. Oh no. I had my super throw, but at least you saw what it was like. Uh, but so cool doing the two player mode activate there. Uh, let's try uh, one more PGM game before we finish up. What else do we have we can do for PGM? And remember, that was not a PGM game. Uh, we will do Oriental Legend here. Why not? Oriental Legend now, real quick. Uh, same core, the updated core. But yes, Mutant Fighter is fantastic. The game was also on Super Nintendo. And of course on uh, Mega Drive, but it had uh, kind of a loss of certain elements, such as less characters and such. And uh, the other cool thing is the fact that... Uh, this is actually a follow-up to the game Hippodrome. You know, I'm talking about uh, Mutant Fighter. I'm talking about two different games here. Now we're playing Oriental Legend here. Uh, who do we want to pick? We'll pick the female character again. But yes, two-player mode activate was absolutely fantastic for Mutant Fighter. Loved it. But Oriental Legend is another game that did not have sound and is running with sound now. Awesome stuff here. But hope you enjoyed the video, guys and gals, and there'll be more to come. I'm trying to think if I want to showcase one more game, but yes, Mutant Fighter was an entertaining experience, to say the least. I'd love to know what other kind of wrestling games you guys and guys like, especially ones that are fantastical like that. We need to have another monster uh, wrestling game. This game is fantastic as well. And look, we can actually do uh, multiple players here. Let's see how many players we can get going in here real quick. Uh, we'll do uh, input hockey bind here. Let's see how many players we can get going at one time here for some fun. We'll go to port 2. And make sure that's PlayStation Classic. Port 3, PlayStation Classic. Uh, port 4, PlayStation Classic. And let's try this. There we go. We got a uh, four-player mode activate. That is awesome. It's going to be absolutely insane now. Nothing's going to be able to stop me now. This is incredibly awesome. Oriental Legend for the win here. And we got some special moves as well. Oh, yeah, I don't want to use them without the enemies on the screen, though. Now we'll do it with that four-player mode activity. That is awesome. So chaotic there. And if you try to run us on some of the later uh, main cores, you'd have slow motion mode activity, but you can see it's running flawless here. So, again, thank you, Arcade2003 and Grand2258 for helping out with this. But, yes, I'd like to know what other wrestling games that you guys and guys have played that are just fantastical in nature. Obviously, uh... King of the Monsters is a great one. Uh, yeah, we'll do that real quick. Why not? 
Let's make that the final, final game. I just want to play another uh, Monster Wrestling fighting game real quick. And we're going to do a Neo Geo CD one here. We're going to do King of the Monsters 2 with a CD soundtrack. And uh, here we go. We're going to load the Q file. Make sure that's the Q file right here. And we'll load it with the Neo CD core. SNK Neo Geo CD core. And uh, this would be our final, final, final game. I just want to play one more fight and wrestling style game with monsters here. Okay. Let's play it on hard mode activate. Let's get our butts whooped. Now, I love the fact that when you do the Neo Geo CD versions, you get to choose the difficulty level. That is so amazingly awesome. Plus the MVS mode. Okay, this is cool as hell. Especially with the CD soundtrack to boot. Look how awesome this is. We got this. Two player mode activate for the win again. <laughs> this is great. This is so cool. There's actually a great Godzilla game like this on Game Boy Advance Ball system. I'm going to have to get that in another video. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun as hell. You ever play a game where you really don't know what you're doing? It's been a while since I played this. This is crazy! Oh no. It's like Rampage. <laughs> Just up the ending with Rampage here. Okay, I got it now. It's actually so impressive. It's cool as hell. I love that it has the scrolling sections here. It really feels like a side-scrolling Rampage game. It's so sweet. This really, really is an awesome game. Let's take out the ships from in the hunt while we're at it here. Oh, jeez. We got, like, Puff the Magic Dragon and uh, Mecha King Kong going on here. Or is that Gorilla Zod? I mean, Gorilla Zod is such a cool character. Love him and watching the original Justice League cartoon series from the 80s. As well as, of course, like, in the Flash series. Oh no, he did a throw just like a mutant fighter. What's going on here? Let's take out this guy. Oh yeah. That was awesome. Such a cool game. King of the Monsters 2 Neo Geo CD version with a fantastic CD soundtrack. I need to get King Kong, Mega King Kong in the mix here. We got this. And we got Mega King Kong with like go-go gadget moves here. That is so funny. Oh yeah. Let's take this guy down real quick. It'll be the final thing. I have to win this battle. Come on, Mecha King Kong with the Go Go Gadget moves. You can do this. <laughs> and I'm sure some of you are a little more first in this game than I am. I keep doing the same move. I gotta get used to this. I'm really digging this music, even though I'm doing the same damn moves over and over again. Look, I can destroy the city in the background while the other characters are fighting him. We'll do the tail slash. There we go. Oh, he teleported on me. Come on, stop doing X Men moves. I need to get uh, King Kong and uh, Puff and Magic Dragon in the same slot here so we can tag team them. There we go. We'll try it that way. Let's get them both in the same slot here, like this, and then we'll tag team them at the same time. This should do the trick. We got this. Yeah! That worked. Now he's got nothing on us because we're just tag teaming him. That's how you do it, guys and gals. No, 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 he did it to me. Come on, King Kong, save the day. Go, go, get your King Kong. And you gotta push the buttons. And I need turbo fire mode activate for this. That'll make sure that I win. I love I love doing turbo fire in any kind of wrestling game. Like you play some of the earlier NES games with turbo fire mode activate, you decimate them. We got this. I'll pick a different monster here and see what we can do here. Who am I playing as here? Oh, this character is pretty fast. Much faster than my other two monsters. This should be a lot quicker. We got this. Oh, no. It was bringing the other character here. I could pause. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm actually not playing the arcade version. So I can pause it. I'm playing uh, home console. Because I know you can't pause arcade games. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys and gals. There'll be more to come.